Back, 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 music. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. Said I wanna thank you. That's right. Said you always wanted a song, so here it is. A relationship with you is like getting your hair braided. With the first plot, you're fine. But towards the end, your bottom starts to get sore. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Wow. A relationship with you is like doing your homework. You know it helps you, but when you go to college, you find out you do things you really didn't need it. A relationship with you is like arguing all the time. At the beginning, it was all fun and dandy. Later on in life, it becomes meaningless, boring, and repetitious. Wow. And finally, a relationship with you is like none I've ever done. Changing a flat or curing a disease, but it was actually my heart, the object that you've won. Mm. <clears throat> Tell us a little bit more about this uh, <laughs> <laughs> being with you poem. Again, it's one of those past experience, one of those past relationship experience that probably sparked me, you know, an interest in me to write. Anyone in particular that we would? I can't even remember her. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> and she's sticking to it. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Bonique, how important is, is words? When we talk about music, the arts, and culture in our country, and one as an educator, you're using words, you're using, I gather, other elements to further the educational experience for your students. Why is it important for people to be able to, willing to, and to actually express their thoughts? I think it's, it's important because you want to know what's on their minds, what they're thinking, and you want to make sure that even if it conflicts with your thoughts and your behavior, that it doesn't become a problem later on. See, I, I believe that, because I even have that here on my book, that the highest level of communication is to speak with sincerity and passion. So. There it is. The honesty in that poem really hurt just now. <laughs> that, that, put me, <laughs> that put me in a personal situation just now. I was like, whoo! Wow. Because it's just getting to know all of these artists. What's so interesting, when we talk about music, the arts, and culture, uh, and culture in our country, this is something that's important for us. It was Pat Raming, a man for whom I have much respect, not only an accomplished architect, but certainly I call him a community activist. And he said, and also an author, he was on the show about a month ago, and he was talking about how important arts, the culture, are to the country. Do you agree, Badik? Definitely. Why is it important? We have to preserve what's ours, what's, what's behemoth, what's... We, we, it's, I mean, it's good to be looking at the Americans and seeing what they're doing, but we need to preserve things that are uniquely bohemian. What's three things that's uniquely bohemian? Well, first I'd like to say John Canoe and this, I think our language is unique. Our language, our food is also unique. And the way we dress. You like Nike? That's the only thing. I like John. I like John. I like I'm not a Nike fan. <laughs> yeah. So it's the three things. Yeah. Bohemian. Well, you know, everybody gets mad at me. I think, uh, being able to buy a chicken snack at 3 a.m. in the morning is Bahamian. <laughs> not stopping at the red light after you come from the club is Bahamian. And you know what I'm saying? Regatta from 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. and you're still standing and you're still partying is Bahamian. <laughs> and the second one is lock up. But <laughs> <laughs> I think like I think a lot of people that come home from college with me like that's one thing I was like I like to bring my friends over from college and people from college that can see they love like how people are so laid back and we we party and they love the personality of it all which is our gift and our curse as, um, as culture. What we find is a lot of persons are trying to find the identity of what it is to or to identify what is mu uh, Bahamian music. Um, we are fused um, Sosa Man and myself and MDs and and. Sami Star both representing different genres. Being Bahamian, we now come together, we say there's an argument going on. How do we solve this problem? How do we make this thing happen? Well, it's all about us getting together and trying different ways, trying it in different ways. If we're fusing rake and scrape and reggae, if we put in rake and scrape and soca, if we put in a rap, whatever it is, we add that, that flavor into it that makes it, and it makes it Bahamian. That's what makes it Bahamian. The, the do you thinking think behind this, tell us more, MBs. Well, um, like I always say, DMARC is good at being 
the person will just say, I am the star, but I am the <laughs> low and I the star. You know what I mean? And I applaud him for that because in my books, and I don't usually say this like a lot, so when I say it, I mean it. In my book, this is the Bahamian artist out there right now. I look up to this man, and if he, um, I, I, I trust his guidance, you know what I mean? So Respect. I, I take I kind of push push myself underneath this ring so he adopt a son and he didn't even know it was going on. <laughs> <laughs> All he knows I just move <laughs> No, but for real, um, he called me and he was like, you know, we we formed the Rat Pack group like awesome. during the election period mm. <laughs> when they draw us together, yes. draw all the artists together. So thanks to all those political parties. Yes, yeah. if they didn't do anything, guys, yeah. they, they, something good came out of it because. The fight has been a long time with, with, with in the musician world over here in the Bahamas where it was uh, the Rake and Scrape artists fighting against anyone doing anything else and then anyone doing anything else was fighting against the Rake and Scrape artists and then on the next note, everyone who doing everything else, they fighting within their self mm -hmm. and then the Rake and Scrape people fighting within their self. So one common thing in everything what I said was the fight. So, Snap. you know what I mean? We now, Spider-Man, how you got involved with this, man? Because every, everybody is starring, and I'm sure that you, and then, of course, we, 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 I need to learn more about the drummer. No, Wait, I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right back the move, <laughs> Well, being the producer that Dylan is, uh, you know, he's a rake and scrape producer, and um, I'm a rake and scrape artist myself. And yes. My last song that I um, actually released about four weeks ago, Dylan was the producer behind it. Ah! And, um, everybody just sort of liked the idea that you, Dylan and Spider Man, we got sort of a, a, a unique thing going on there. Yes, it's like an older guy with a much younger guy. Yeah. When it comes to Rick and Scrape, man, we go and say, Nah, I'm going to do a G Mark Bad. That's what I said, I'm dumping. That's what I said, I'm dumping. He's just a dumping. Let me say this. Son, he never knew he had it. I said, I'm going to say, 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 well, I got that name from um, playing with Willis and the Illis. I was, I don't know if you know about them. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, we all know about Willis. Well, yeah, yes. well, um, I was the drummer for the Willis and the Illis band for about two years. Awesome. And now I'm the um, uh, engineer awesome. for them now. Um, I just, um, 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 we just brought out their album a couple months ago. Awesome. Um, um, Self-entitled. And so um, now I'm just... Well, I mean, I know all these guys from like I was a baby. All of them know me. D Mac, he knows. The D Mac, you coming on the stage? Don't you know? Don't you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Tracy, Tracy. <laughs> ah, see another cousin with the Tracy, Tracy. Yeah. 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 So um, awesome, man. Um, yeah. So um, um, right now, um, I'm just the, uh, I'll say the the baby in the group, but mm -hmm. not a baby. Very strong in the group as well. You know, I make really? my shots. Yes. And I'm like that Derek Rose in the group, and I I I um. Uh, <laughs> Look at this. Uh, He's the uh, baby. Uh, 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 Said I wanna thank you. That's right. You said you always wanted a song, so here it is. Thanks for leaving me. It made me who I was meant to be. First I couldn't see, but then reality showed me that you weren't in my destiny. Thanks for walking away. Now I'm growing stronger in every way. Now I'm getting mine. I'm glad that you moved on to you. I dedicate this song. 